First thing we're going to do is remove the front fascia. In order to do that, we need to remove the following hardware. Remove hardware behind gas lid in the middle of the fascia, the one holding the fascia to the deflector, and the screw that holds the headlight in. Then remove the same hardware on the driver's side. Remove the two screws in the front below the grill. Remove the two screws on the shock brace, two push pins, and two screws under the hood. Disconnect all the wiring from the front fascia. Disconnect all the clips holding the wiring. Then remove the harness from the shroud. And remove the fascia. Remove the wheels and tires from both sides. Remove the hardware securing the radiator to the machine located here and here on both sides. Once all the hardware is removed, take a zip tie and zip the radiator up out of the way. Next, we're going to remove the bulkhead by removing these four nuts. Remove the cotter pin from the castle nut, then remove the castle nut. The next step is to remove the brake caliper. Now remove the hub. Remove the cotter pin from the tie rod end hardware. And then remove the hardware. It's a good idea to put bolts back in place when you can, especially if you have a heim joint, you don't want to lose your bushings. Remove the brake line from the upper A-arm. By removing clips, attaching it to the A-arm. Remove the lower A-arm by disconnecting the ball joint from the spindle and removing the A-arm nut for the rear portion of the A-arm. You may need to use a pry bar to disconnect the lower A-arm. Next, we're going to remove the spindle from the upper A-arm by taking the cotter pin from the ball joint stud. Then remove the nut. Disconnect the shock from the upper A-arm. and then tie it out of the way. Disconnect the sway bar linkage from the upper A-arm.
If you've installed a pen locking differential, this is the point where you're going to have to remove your actuator. Now it's time to remove the upper A-arm. In order to do that, we're going to have to remove the vent tube and then the bolts. Now slide the upper A-arm off. The next step is to remove the axle from the differential. Now repeat those steps for the passenger side. Remove the four bolts holding the differential. Disconnect the prop shaft and the differential. Now that the prop shaft's disconnected from the differential, we can remove the differential from the machine. This may require a little bit of finessing, just be careful when doing so. Remove the two bolts holding the A-arm hardware in place. and then remove the A-arm hardware. Now we're gonna install the backing plate. When installing it, ensure that the flat portion here with the two holes is facing towards the top of the machine. Once the backing plate is laid in place, you want to take the longer black bolts and install them to the bottom holes, coming from the inside out. And then the shorter silver bolts go through the top inside out as well. Remove the washers from the A-arm studs. The next step is going to be to install the A-arm support. When we're doing this, we're going to reinstall the A-arms both sides simultaneously, so it will be required to have somebody to help you. Before you finish installing the frame stiffener, you're going to want to reinstall the differential and the prop shaft. One thing to keep in mind is to always install the prop shaft first. The next thing we're going to do is install the frame support. When installing the frame support, we want to ensure that the flat portion here goes up against the frame. Use the M12 by 1.75 by 30 millimeter hardware and the 12 millimeter nuts. Now we're going to install the top support. The top support connects the backing plate to the frame support. Make sure that the two holes are going towards the front and the one is going towards the rear. We're going to use the same hardware as we used on the frame support. Now reinstall the upper A-arms using the M12 by 1.75 by 90 bolts and M12 nuts. Be sure to use Loctite on all the hardware that secures the frame stiffener to the machine. Now we're going to go ahead and reattach the bulkhead.
reinstall all stock components, and tighten the hardware completely. So that's how super easy it is to install Super ATV's frame stiffener on this K&M Maverick X3. For more information on this frame stiffener or any of Super ATV's awesome products, give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.